average people need to stick to each other, basically. Like, um, <laughs> women shouldn't be like expecting to get millionaires, and men shouldn't be expecting to get IG model prototypes. So, I think that's where a lot of the dating has gone wrong lately. What you're saying is correct, but the thing is, um, guys will be more willing to settle with a chick that's just like, all right. Whereas we, a lot these days, it's not always been like this, but these days, a lot of women have a, in, like, you know, outrageous dating requirements. And some of these women are not even all that. Well, I would say, I mean, eventually every, everybody's going to like have to settle with somebody. But I feel like when it comes to men, when they do settle, I feel like there is a different way. There's a different level of how they treat women. Because some men would say, hey, like, you know, this this girl is okay. She's pretty. I would settle for her. But she's going to have to do X, Y, Z to, in order to make it worthwhile for me. Versus them dating their type and giving them their, giving the type, like, what they should be given as a man to the type. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to, you know lie and say oh they're gonna treat the the average chick exactly the same way they're gonna treat the girl that they really like but right again i think that men are more in this day and age are more accepting of settling with a woman that is probably not their dream chick do you get what i'm saying like right like and and the reason why i can say this and i said this to you before you know most guys are not getting played like that so most guys, well, most guys, most guys are not, most guys don't even have experience with their dream girl in the first place. So mm -hmm. they don't really have, no, what, they, don't, they can't really, really treat the, the, the average chick that bad because they've never had a bad B anyway. That's true. That's true. But I feel like with social media, everything has changed a lot of perceptions. So it's like men see these women that are online, they're beautiful, um, you know, maybe a rarity of beauty. Um, they have glam, glamorous lifestyle and they have men that actually flock to them as followers. So these, the average man is looking to get women like that, but these women are not necessarily looking for average men. The, 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 average, the average men are just lusting after those women. Right, so they're lusting. It's like they're holding hope for... Nah, for it's not. They, nah, like I think, no, guys are more... Guy, guys are more logical, bruv. Uh, most, guys, most guys know where they stand, bruv. Most guys know if I'm broke... Or I'm I'm unattractive. They know they're broken. They know they're unattractive, and they know that they could, they probably can't get that dream girl. Mm -hmm. That's why we have whole communities called Black Pill. Right. <laughs> I've I've yet to see a, a a movement of women who who say, "Oh, we are too unattractive to get high value men." Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist. Yeah, I agree that uh, women today are kind of delusional. Like nobody's gonna get a millionaire. Nobody's gonna get you know, you know, get to be on a billionaire's yacht or whatever. No, but somebody what will. Just not. not will. Just not everybody. Not, not the majority. <laughs> right. So, but my thing is with men is like even if they do choose the average woman, it's almost like they the average woman has to fit into certain boxes as well. Like. You have to have a certain look. You have to have a certain texture of hair. You have to have a, a certain skin color. So it's almost like they also, you know, put in women that are average as well in the in the box that they don't necessarily get chosen by men. Listen again. I, I, I as I said this to you before. I think when women talk about these kind of things you lot are focusing on the top 10 percent guys you're focusing on what the tyrones are saying and doing and the reason why i know that's true is because you don't register the guys that you don't find attractive that's the fact but men do the same too like you know you have men that are out there that are seeking women that has a particular look like in the average world i'm not talking about the ig models so what what they what are the what is this specific thing that they're looking for in the average look exactly? In the average look, they're looking for of course beauty. They're looking for a specific hair texture, a specific uh, facial feature, a uh, specific body type. You know. Then it can't like, be. Then, but then it's not the average. Then is it? Um. 
How can yeah. no, no? Think, think about what you're saying. Hold on. Think about what you're saying. You're saying these guys, they're going for a specific type. Right. In this average, then it can't be the average because the average is the majority. So if it's the majority, they wouldn't right. have to look very far. It'd be everywhere. Well, there are women that possess those traits in the world. Are world. they the average though? Yeah. <laughs> For me, so average, then what's the problem <laughs> if the okay average. so if this if this particular type of woman that they're looking for is the average then there wouldn't be no problem then no there'll be a problem because not every right there's not everybody that look like that but what i'm saying is not only like the average woman is not going to have you know loose curls she's not going to have white skin she's not going to have a you know a tiny waist with big bottom so but you're saying, saying that that bro like bro is it the average yes or no you're saying it is the average they're, they're average they're still average no but i'm what saying is, is it the, the no what i'm saying is it the average woman walking around i'm saying is that is that the average yeah. the one you're describing right there's light skin no hold on hold on you're saying no 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 listen 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 okay what we need to establish average. right hold on hold on hold on hold on what we need to okay. establish right yeah right. when we say average yeah that is yes it is the looks yeah mm -hmm. and the average actually is the frequency that you would see that person because that's what makes it average right because think about it the average girl in miami is different to the average girl g girl in nebraska or the mm -hmm. average girl in london or the average girl in japan is different Right. So, right. You, so, so you have to, we have to be but clear what we're also, saying, because you're saying you know, the average guy is looking for the average girl to have a specific hair type, specific body type, and specific complexion. That doesn't sound like an average. Well, it's all about availability. I mean, I if I when I'm talking about above average, we're talking about women that are able to, you know, cap capture the, the um, like billionaires they're able to talk to nba players i'm not talking about those women i'm talking about you know. women in your world that actually have those features but they live in the real world where they they averagely go to work they averagely come home they're not in the limelight they're not glamorous and they're not chasing after nba players those are the women i'm talking about i understand i understand that i understand that that's small that. percentage men are trying to fit all women like they're not going to be all women that have that same look even in the average world but they're passing up women that may have the opposite look because they want that specific look that they have in their head that is, they seem is the ideal beauty to them listen at the end of the day yeah women are the ones that choose so really and truly like i i know on the internet you'll hear guys say oh uh, yeah these women are the best type of women oh i only date these type of women but in reality when you actually step outside all kinds of women have guys all types of women have guys with dark skin <laughs> light skin big small skinny like bro like come on like what are you on about like no, they are they are gonna have uh women they're they're gonna obviously date women obviously because they need they need something from women but what i'm saying is we're talking about men that choose their the app the they choose the women that are they're selling for but they actually have a type of woman that they would actually prefer and there's nothing wrong with having a preference in in complexion hair texture whatever but these women are actually in a small percentage in the community so it's like you know, it's just like me and uh, a man going to Africa and saying he wants, he's going to Nigeria and he says he wants white women, but literally 90% of all the women are dark skin. There, it's, it's, it's so you're saying, so, you're, so, so basically what you're saying is the average men are not going for the average woman in their vicinity. They're going for the average women that are, they're trying to obtain the average woman that look a certain type. That's what I mean. So what's okay? So what's happening to the uh, the other average women there? They're the ones complaining that they're not getting um, attention from men. No, those are the ones that um, they're not getting attention from the men that they like. 
there's a difference. I'm just saying, it's as a woman. No, 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 no. no. Listen to what I'm saying to you. They're not. Right. They're complaining because they're not mm -hmm. getting the attention from the men they like. They're getting attention from somebody, bruv. Right. Why? Why? Somebody. Because they have a vagina. That's why. Right. Right. Well, we're talking about quality. We're not talking about. Like, yeah, but they're all average. No, but we've already established they're all average. The men are average and the women are average. We've already established that. Right. So what but difference what does it make? <laughs> the average men that actually are like on the quality of like being a high value man that makes 100k or whatever. Because we're not talking about millionaires. We're talking about average men that make... Making, a, making six figures is not average. But they are the ones that these women want, but these women are not being chosen because they don't fit into that type that these men want. Okay. And we even have nowadays we have men that are like they're making seventy k and still having all these requirements of a woman. And they should have requirements of a woman. What yeah, do you they mean? Should, but like if you're choosing a little small percentage of the biracial or the light skin community, then you're, 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 you're trans bro, you're getting... Bro, dark skin get, bro, bro, yeah, dark skin women are getting married, uh, dark skin women are getting married as well. What are you talking about, bro? I didn't say they're not. I didn't say they're not. But so why I'm are you making it, well, but you're making it like some, yeah. oh, the, the men are no, only picking I'm, light skin women, bro. What do you what mean? I'm saying, there are certain like aspects of social media that does promote a specific type as the preference and like beauty standards and these women some of these women don't fit into that so the, and the a lot of guys and there's a lot of the, and there's a lot of people on social media that say they only want to date a man that's over six foot and that's it right and i agree i, I never said that was there were that was uh that was a, a good thing to do i never said women should you know require height and whatever no i'm not i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying either way no listen to me i'm not saying you said anything either way i'm just stating the fact just the way you're you're talking about these guys they only make 70k and then they asking for this or these guys are average and they only want this and then them same average women they want certain things as well like okay well we can we can agree that both men and women want certain things that is in a small percentage of the population so you know how do we fix that? We don't. We I think everybody that. needs to be humble. I think I think everybody needs to be humble, and at the same time, like, right. um, get in where you fit in. Like, if you and 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 I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you right now. Yeah, with all things being equal, it's actually kind of harder for women in in a certain way because you've only really got your looks to market. I think women now today are are like required to bring the whole package too they have to have the looks the body type nah, the money man. as well nah man nah it, well okay if they're asking that they that's probably uh, bruh i mean that's a standard question what do you do with yourself like what do you do that's a standard question bruv what do you mean what's wrong with that i mean it's a standard question but i'm, I'm talking about men that require women to do 50 50 too so it's like it's like either you have to bring you have to bring your beauty your looks and you have to bring 50 percent of the but bills. listen you so but listen but listen but listen but listen listen listen, listen listen do you know why that's do you know why like women like uh, brett it's just like you lot just don't really understand the 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 price of living you live in a first world country which is very expensive to live in and you, you, as a woman, you're probably going to want a standard of, of quality of life. That is expensive, bro. Think about it. Like, tip, the typical chick is looking at Instagram Explore page. Oh, cars, holidays, restaurants, shoes, bags. I want this. I want that. Like, bro, like, how are you going to, how are you going to do all of this? Like, how? And then you want to have to get in a relationship. You want to go on dates. Then off down the line, you want to have kids and all of this kind of nonsense. And you want to bigger house and you want two cars you want three cars now like bro like ha, like i understand yeah boom you want a guy to provide and all of that i understand that i'm not saying it's a bad thing but at the same time yeah like this isn't a cheap thing this is not cheap this is what this is why one of the, the things i stress so hard about is don't have kids too early as a guy because 
bro, this life is not a joke, bro. Like, you need your money, bro. And yeah, like, if you get in a relationship, it's an expensive luxury, bro. Unfortunately, I think a lot of girls just don't really think about it from a realistic point of view. A lot of girls just think of it of, as, oh, you're the man, you're meant to provide, and I want this and I want that because I'm a woman and you're meant to do it. But you're no, not really no. crunching the numbers. A lot, I'm not saying you, but I'm saying a lot of chicks do not crunch the numbers and actually see the reality of it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. But I think... Some women think of it as more of like they want to be, they want to live a certain lifestyle, I guess. And some actual other women actually want a man that can provide or that can bring something more to the table in terms of building wealth with that with that man. So there are different, there are different types of women that think differently about like yeah. being the provider and stuff. So yeah, no, it's I not agree always with you. about getting a Gucci bag or a Chanel bag. It's not always about that. I agree with you. There's different types of women. Like I know, I know women that I know. I know one woman in particular. She does very well financially, and she's not materialistic at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like if you met her, you sh just normal. Like you wouldn't know. Like so, like I, I know that it's it's just like I feel like the way society is in the media is it's like it's encouraging women to be more materialistic. And if a man can't afford this, then he's a bum. And that's not true, bruv. Right, right. All this, oh, oh a guy yeah. has to be making six figures or, you know, he's not worthy of... Like, bruv, what do you mean? Like, so so basically what, what those particular chicks are saying is that they want a, a guy... They want to wait for a guy at the finish line. I'm sorry, guys are getting smarter these days and... But guys Guys are way, guys are picking women that are a lot younger, so it's it's still the same thing. You guys are picking women that haven't reached the danger zone, so why shouldn't women pick men that, you know, are done at the finish line? Do you think? Uh, do you think the, the women? Thing. Let me ask you this: Do you think the women that are in the danger zone are winning by waiting at the the <laughs> finish line? Do you think they're, they're winning? <laughs> huh? They're not. So what I'm saying is, women that you guys are advising women to to marry young. You know, 21 to 25. When you hit after 25, you're in a danger zone, and then when you hit 30, you're you're off the wall. But what I'm saying is the same thing as a woman requiring a man that you know is financially secured. So yeah, no but that's the thing. Yeah, but it actually works because if 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 the girl at 20, 21, 22 is dating up, she's probably dated a man that has got money in it he's, he's gonna be more older so he's probably worked oh, yeah. longer so it actually works this it like it's no surprise that back in the day like yeah there used to be a big age gap between the man and the woman because right. think about it most of our grandparents their age gap they got like a 20 year age gap bruv <laughs> what do you mean yeah. 15 years age gap bruv men and 25 year olds complain that they're not getting women is because this these women are dating they should be dating older no men. no it, no it's not no you, you've 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 mixed up two things now it's that these 25 year old men that are not getting any play it's not because the women are like are so smart and know oh, okay i'm gonna do hypergamy and date someone 35 no it's not because of that they're not they're not getting played because those guys are not tyrones because the majority of men are not tyrones bruv that's why well, we keep saying Tyrone's, but it's not. I know social media has, you know, destroyed the perception and image of a lot of women in terms of what they want, but it's not all women that. Bro, do this has got nothing to do with social media. This is biology, bruv. <laughs> this is biology. So, uh, women want tall. guys that are. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> women like guys that are tall, bruv. That's a standard thing. Yeah? Why? Because mm -hmm. in caveman days, that was like an advantage for a man to be tall. Yeah? Then, they like a guy to have an athletic body. Why? Because he's going to pass on good genes to their children, bruv. They, hopefully, they'll be strong and athletic so that they can survive, bruv. Then, also, um, um, women will want to pick. Just as a man will want to pick a woman with a nice face, a woman will want a man with a nice face, preferably, so that they can pass them genes on. Because people that have... That, tend to be more attractive you tend to be more healthy that's what this is the psychology of it and of human human evolution as well because someone that's more aesthetically 
pleasing, faces symmetrical, etc. That's a clear indicate. That's an indicator of good health and good genes, bruv. And, and and being healthy. So therefore, if you get with somebody who who's good looking, that means you're gonna have healthy offspring. It's it's it, bro. This is psychological stuff now. Like it is. I get that. But why are we classifying men that are six feet and above that have good facial features as Tyrone's and we're classifying men that are six feet and under the good guys what, what because the, up to that? because the guys that are six foot above that are good looking are not the majority so that's why Ty what's the Tyrone is it I thought a Tyrone is a, a guy that was lived in a hood and was broke isn't that what a Tyrone no nah, that's a pookie in it that's a pookie Ray Ray <laughs> okay <laughs> oh that that's just like a hood guy in it like that's just a hood hood dude street guy oh, okay do you get what i'm saying you. like but that but the thing is a tyrone can be in any a tyrone could be a hood guy or a suburban from the suburbs like mm -hmm. he could be a jock yeah like, he could, could be, be anyone too. because at the end of the day the, the tyrone the chad and tyrone element really is based down to looks really right like the genetics like is he good look is he attractive do women naturally find him attractive do the do do most women find him attractive do you get what i'm saying like but i feel like men men do, men do the same thing in terms of women some men that are you know five that are six feet they want women that are like five two so it's like both people are doing the same they're they're placing these standards on both sides like men that are six Hurt men on that six five that are dating five women that are five two. Why you, do you need to date a woman that's five two? Because they have their own specific type they want. In yeah, the, but in that's height. yeah, but again, as I said, like even with Tyrones or guys that are not Tyrones, like guys, guys are more willing to, um, and just be more relaxed with their dating preferences or standards, yeah, like. Would, in terms of looks absolutely bro and anyway even if the even if a woman is six foot two she's still gonna have some guys hollering at her that's the facts if a guy is a sub five in looks he's not really gonna have any girls hollering no, at I him agree with that because i have what? friends that are like way tall and they can't get men that are six five like i have friends that are like six feet and men that are six five do not want them. Yeah, but the but the women that are over six foot are not typical. That's 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 what is the percentage of women that are over six foot in the world? There is not a lot. That's what I'm saying. That's not that's the, you can't compare that to the eighty percent of men I'm talking about. <laughs> you can't compare that. Right, six five ideally should want to be with somebody that's six feet. I mean. Why does he need to go all the way down to five two? But why? Why are we talking about guy that is like five percent of the population of men? Why do we? Why are we so focused on what he did? This is what I'm saying. I. This is what it no, is I'm with women. You not focus on that ten percent of man so hard. No, I'm just. I'm just trying to shed light as to what what the reality is. Like not okay. Let's not even talk about a guy that's six five. Let's talk about a guy that's five ten. He's still not picking a woman that is five seven because he wants to go. That's to not true. That's not true. That's not true. There's, there's no. You have no facts or data uh, to support what you're saying, bro. You, you just said that a guy that's five foot ten will not date a woman that's five foot seven. That is cap. Huh? <laughs> that's absolute. You made that up on the spot. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm dead serious. There are guys that don't like that are short, but they're like they're beneath, they're oh, uh, lower than six feet. They don't want women that are closer to six feet either. So it's like they want that women is that cap. are five feet. <laughs> that is cap. That is just cap. I'm sorry. That's cap. Them five foot seven women, bro, are more, bro. Who is more likely to reject who? The guy or the girl? Well, most likely the girl. Exactly. So agree. what are you talking about? <laughs> but what I'm, saying, what I'm saying is that they don't really tend to, like, pursue women that are tall, tall like them. Like, they, they want a woman that's shorter. Most men like women that are shorter. Yeah, and if the guy's 5 foot 10 and the girl's 5 foot 7, she's shorter. She sh no, they want somebody that's sh way shorter than 
five seven. Right, every they no wanna, man, that's the, you <laughs> have. I want to see where you're getting the statistics from. But they want to have the same feeling that a six five guy has when he dates a five two. I don't girl. know about that. So they want to have that same feeling, like I'm taller than this. Listen, girl no, what it boils down to is is the girl attractive? That's what it boils down to, bruv. Is the girl attractive? Is the typical height girl attractive, bruv? Because there's no point. There's no point we talking about women that are six foot three. Like, why are we even talking about them? Like, they. I mean, they exist, but it's so rare that it's not even worth really factoring it into the equation. Like, yes, yeah, so a woman at six three is really rare, so. Yeah, that's the, the, it, it's awkward. Like, they're gonna have long arms, long legs. Like, it's awkward. Like. <laughs> See there, see, see. You know, it's it's almost like men and women have the same. They have. That's the same not the practice. same. Is it? It is. It isn't so. the same. How can it be the same if that's not typical? It's not even near typical. It's not even blood. Like that's <laughs> six foot three. I mean, bro, I, bro, I don't think I've ever seen a six foot three girl. Actually, that's a lie. I've seen some tall chicks in America. I see some tall chicks. Yeah, I've seen some in London, so I've seen like at least good six feet, six one. So yeah, not yeah, not nah. They were six foot if at best, at most. Yeah, not in London, bro. You know, nah, you ain't know, see no six foot three girl just. No, I saw. I seen a girl that was six. Yeah, she was six one, not six three. Bro, she, she was, was six, an import, bro. <laughs> she was an import. <laughs> yeah, she was an import. <laughs> but yeah, like. It was crazy because my friend was six five and he didn't want to. He didn't want to uh, ask her out. It's like he's like, no, I want somebody shorter. It's like no, really? was she no, was she good looking? That's the question. She was good looking. Oh, uh, but, yeah, but yeah, to you, you'd go oh and date God. her then. You go and date her. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm good. I love that when you women say, "Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous." Then you date her then. What the I hell? Mean, I, I mean. She was okay. She wasn't like a supermodel, but she was okay. Ah, right, and he was at oh, so I mean that's you know best worlds coming together. But all I'm saying, yeah, end of the day, yeah, like guys are more willing to settle with a chick that is not their dream girl, whereas women will will try and fight it for as long as they can until they have no choice, bruv. That's right. what happens, bruv. Well, yeah, I would agree. I said I would say women should just, you know, I mean, I'm not saying settle, but like there are good women, good men in different sizes and whatever. So yeah, yeah I mean, I your perfect guy. Your, that's what I'm saying. Like your perfect guy might might be working in Walmart. Right. Well, not Walmart. <laughs> she she fell off as soon as I said that she fell off. 